Now, if we do what we have done with arithmetic sequences, if we use A to represent the first term, it means now the second term, T2, will be equal to A multiplied by R. And this here will give us A R. The third term, term number three, will be A multiplied by R multiplied by R. And this here will give us A R squared. T4 will be equal to A multiplied by R multiplied by R multiplied by R. And we are having one, two, three R's, which means it will be A R to power three. And if we continue this sequence to the nth term, just like we did with arithmetic sequences, we will look at the term number here and the exponent there. And with this one as well, we will realize the difference between 4 and 3 is 1. The difference between 3 and 2 is also 1. And the exponent of R here is 1, and the difference between 2 and 1 is also 1. Which means, if I have to write this differently, I would say this is the same as A, R. And then if I use the term number 4, it will be 4 minus 1. In other words, it will be A, R to power 4 minus 1. Now, knowing that N represents any number, it means in this case we will have A, R, and then in the place of 4 in this case, we will simply put n and then minus 1. And this here is the general term that we use to find a, a, a geometric sequence. Now, I want us to look at some differences, arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. With arithmetic sequences, we talk about the common difference and for the common difference we use D and with regard to geometric sequences we talk about the common ratio and for that we use R that is the first thing so whenever they talk about the sequence that is arithmetic then you should know that that sequence must have the common difference. And whenever they talk about a sequence that has, uh, that, that is geometric, it must have a common ratio. That is number one. And number two, the general term that we use for arithmetic sequences is A plus N minus 1 T. That is the general term for arithmetic sequences. And the general term that we use for geometric sequences will be Tn equals A R to power N minus 1. So this is the differences with regard to the general term of each of the sequence. Now, there is a question that I would like us to look at before we go to, we talk about the sum, before we talk about sigma notation and so on. Let us look at this question here. Let us look at this question here. Um, question two. They say here, yeah, given the sequence, given the sequence, the sequence given to us is four, x and 32. Now the first question there says uh, determine the value of values of x if the sequence is arithmetic. Now what did we say about arithmetic sequences? We said arithmetic sequences are sequences which have the constant difference d which means because this sequence is arithmetic we expect to have what we call the common difference and the way to find the common difference will be t2 
minus T1, which must be the same as T3 minus T2. The only reason I'm writing this down, it is because they said determine the value of x if the sequence is arithmetic. Now, because the sequence is arithmetic, it must have the common difference. Now, what is our second term from this sequence here? The second term, I mean, the second term from the sequence is x minus the first term, which is equal to 4. And this is equal to term number 3 is 32 minus term number 2, which is equal to x. So basically what we have here is x minus 4 equals 32 minus x. And then from there, we take this negative x to the left hand side or we use the additive inverse of negative x which is a positive x so we are going to therefore have here x plus x having moved this negative x to the left hand side and this here will be equal to we take the negative 4 to the right hand side then we have 32 plus 4 and therefore x plus x will give us 2x, which is equal to 32 plus 4, will give us 36. Now, to find the value of x, what we are going to do here is, we are going to divide both sides of this equation by 2. And 2 here will cancel 2, and therefore, x will be equal to 18. That is how we find the value of x if the sequence is arithmetic. Now, this is 2.1.1. If the sequence is arithmetic, just to remind you, whenever you are told that the sequence is arithmetic, know that the sequence must have a common difference. That is the most important thing. Now, 